Hello everyone. I've got another review for you on the old. Um, I've got another review, but I'll do the review in a minute. I'm just going to close my uh, door. Jester. <laughs> one of the many coats from Top Gun. Right, right uh, I've got a review. Before I do, shout out small posting to Lenny, basic modelling Rob, print modelling Chris, Aaron. Newlands, Kalido One Lewis, Atomic Dog 32, Brian, Alex Modeling, Making Models Again, Gary, Lon757, Pete, Waterloo745, Waterloo745, and Waterloo 745, Laz Guy in Spartech, RASDV, Callum Wilding, um, Master HQ, Dead Man Tom, Airfix Freak, Mr. Model Mosquito, Golden Eagle, Train Boy 220, Andy Model. Andy Model, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Modeler, Hobby Modeler, UK Scale Modeler, Mr. Great Models, Warren Blanche, Paul Marsh, Paul Marsh, Engineer Dance Side Vs. Vivi, Dan, Max, Merrin, A, Media, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley, Billy, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Andrew, Gavin, George, Tom, John, Joe, Sam, Caroline, Luke, Sam, Caroline, Luke, Lisa, and Charlotte speak to you on, speak to you next Friday. Anyway, my review, well, my review for you is this. It's the 170 Airfix, 172 scale, dogfight doubles, Supreme Spitfire Mark 1A, Messerschmitt BF 110. Both of these are new toolings, and obviously it's a new box art. Nice dramatic op box. Obviously, you got your Spitfire pilot here. He's firing at this ME 110, and he's well. To be honest, the ME 110's copped it in his uh, the flames. It the Number one engines one and both engines and one and two are on fire, and you can and by the looks of thing, even some of the his, some of his fuels leaking out the out the uh, out the wing tanks because you've got bullet holes. You you've got fuel what looks to be fuel looking leaking out of the bullet holes, and of course this this particular the box of artwork, I should this particular box that looks the artwork is. This is this was this is one of the many paintings that was done depicting these two aircraft. Of course, these two for over over our over our, up in the skies over our, over Britain in the, during the Second World War. But critically, from the Allies' point of view, from the critically from the point of from the click to, from. Critically, on the turning point, the, this was when the the battle, this battle, that's that's been the the, the battle that the spit our spits and the, and the Luftwaffe one tens and one o nines and all their bombers fought in was of course the Battle of Britain, and of course, as you guys know, the Battle of Britain, obviously we won. Obviously, we're still speaking English, 
Had we not, we'd still be now be speaking German or whatever language. We'd now be speaking German. The Battle of Britain was the turning point because after the Battle of Britain, everything went backwards. Everything went backwards for the Germans, pretty much. And then again in 1943, which thanks to 617 Squadron, then of course the the Germans had to pull, had to pull forces, had to withdraw forces from Russia to rebuild the Myrna, to rebuild the German da to rebuild their jams in the in the Industrial River Valley. So yeah, that's the box up, and it and it comes with eight acrylic paints, two brushes, eight acrylic paints, two brushes, and one polished cement. And obviously, that's the back showing the two completed models. Let's have a look, shall we? There's the uh, the main instruction page, several instructions, safety information. And of course, if you've seen my Spitfire review, you know the Spitfire is a six sub assembly. I'll go through them again anyway. Uh, cockpit, propeller, prop. Cockpit and propeller going into fuselage along with the oxygen tanks. Cockpit, including the pilot. Propeller. Cockpit, including the pilot and propeller and oxygen going tank into the fuselage. Uh, exhaust stacks, canopy, elevated uh, horizontal stabilizers, rudder. Then that then goes onto the lower one piece lower wing and then the two. Two top, two piece top, two, two piece top wings. Um, number five is the landing is landing gear legs up or down, tail wheel, Peter, uh, airspeed indicator, uh, IFF light, radiator, oil cooler, and air in and the and the back part of the air intake. Then number six, I said, is the wheels. If you do it with the gear, with the gear down, it's the wheels and the front part of the air intake. And of course, so there's, well, there's that, that angle. There's that angle. That's there's that angle diagram. You've then got, and of course, sub assembly seven is the radar. Is the radio mast options? Option finish option is this. It's pretty much the same one in the last I did in the last review, but I'll read it out anyway. It's the Mark 1A Super Moose Bit Mark 1A, Mark 1A, 6110 Squadron, County of Chichester, 6110, County of Chichester Squad County of Chester Chester Squadron, County of Chester Squadron, 13 Group, that's Scotland. R8 Royal Air Force Biggin Hill, July, England, July 1940. So that's that's Battle Brit so that's pretty much this particular squadron was moved down to Biggin Hill was moved down to Biggin Hill to cope with demand to, co to cope with the situation to cope to cope with the Battle of Britain and then the second and then the other one is the Messerschmitt BF1 the Messerschmitt BF110 C2 C2 and that is a 20 and this is a 20 the, the measurement bf1 c2 is bf110 c2 is the is the is a 27 stage kit there's a 27 sub assembly stage the the first and so first and second sub assemblies are optional they are the rear gunner and the they are the rear gunner and the pilot you then put in the instrument panel and 
front cockpit seat bulkhead to the back cockpit seat bulkhead and back the, the, the bulkhead that separates the front cockpit seat cockpit on the, the front the forward facing cockpit on the 110 to the back facing part cockpit of the 110 you then to that you then add your control your control stick the control stick then in the back section you add the um, the magazines for the for the uh, rear machine gun for the rear for the gun for the rear gunner's machine gun you then add his you then had the add the uh, the bulkhead that protects him from that the, you then add the bulkhead that you then add the bulkhead that leads to that that bulk protects him from that if there were, if there were to be an explosion if there were to be an explosion if there were to be an explosion it would protect him from those from those canisters exploding then sub assembly 8 is is optional you put sub assembly 1 which is your rear gunner and your sub assembly 2 which is the pilot to the into the into their respective seats you then put these the cockpit into the fuselage into the fuselage you then put the fuselage the fuselage onto the lower half of the wings onto the one piece lower half wing along with the wheel along with the wheel wells you then add the top half of the wings the 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 sub assembly 12 is the radiator with the radiators on each wing and then sub assembly 13 are the radiator covers on each wing 14 is the 14 is the um, the one piece horizontal stabilizer one piece horizontal stabilizer to that you add you add it to a component that is that is that is comprised that is that into a two piece component the actual components of 29d and 30d they go together to form one component then they you put these in then you put that particular component onto the horizontal stabilizer you then put the horizontal stabilizer onto the rear part of the fuselage onto the tail onto the very rear half of the fuselage you then add the two horizontal well two vertical rudders two vertical rudders to the tail section you then add the nose of the 110 along with the guns along with the guns the machine gun and the cannons you then add the the now sub assembly 18 you've got options you can either do it with the wheel like the split bar you can do it with the wheels up or down now for wheels up you just pay you just add the 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 wheel bay covers the door the cloak the wheel doors just lay flat onto that cover for the wheels down you add the the strut the actual wheel strut then then the supporting strut, then the locking, then the locking, then the retracting and locking struts, and then you add various other bits to the front, and then of course you add the wheels themselves, and then of course you do sub assembly 19, you do the propellers, because there's two of on this aircraft, and then you add the propeller, you then add the propeller to, you then add the you then add the 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 propeller locking screw, the engine nacelle, the engine the engine housing, the engine cowling, to a spacer, to the back spacer, um, to the back propeller spacer ring. Then you 22. You add those two to the the two engines 
the two engine nacelle cover the two engine covers the engine nacelle to the um, cowling covers to the to the airframe it also reminds you to put the propeller to put the uh, exhaust stacks together the exhaust stacks together first before you then assemble them into before you put the engines in you then add the tail wheel and the what looks to be a radio mast what looks to be some sort of radio direction finding hook on the bottom Summer 2024 you put the air intake in Sub assembly 2025 you put the rear gunner's machine gun into the into a slot in the rear half of the cockpit. Sub assembly 26 you put the sub assembly 26 you put the canopy on. Sub assembly, sub assembly 27 is the radio mast and then sub, 20, sub assembly 28 is the landing light for the 110. Now this particular 110, the finish option for it, is this one. Messerschmitt BF1 BF110 C2 six starfall one zestor Schwarzwalder 76 northern 70 Schwarzwalder 76 northern front northern france 194 northern front northern france 1940 so yeah that was the there the there are the finish options now let's have a look at the two kits you this time it's my Kelsey Kira Chloe mum then you and it's same with the floor to the bulk communication where was I here yeah. you add the cockpit next you add the the eight degrees don't say Aircraft. It's a prop aircraft though. Review all right. Catch you guys in a minute. Right, the uh sorry about that, I was just checking the video. Um now I forgot to show you the tooling for the, the sprues for the other Spitfire, so this is for this is for both I'll add this this is for both the single Spitfire single Spitfire review that I did I'm adding this onto this review, review as well these are the two this is the Spitfire hang on yeah this bit this this is the Spitfire for this kit for this set it is for this set and it's um, two sprues of airfix grey plastic nothing I can't fault the mouldings they are in my opinion the mouldings are, are brilliant and grand three two two grey sprues one clear sprue for your canopy and that's your other that's the single um, single that's the spitfire uh, these are the sprues for the other for the Spitfire review that I did previously, I for complete. I'm sorry I forgot about it. I covered the decals and that. I covered the decals and that, but that's the kit for the Spitfire kit for the For the this that's the Spitfire for this kit for this kit that's the Spitfire for the single for the single kit and both of them the same tooling basically so sorry about that I completely forgot till now right 110 kit uh, that's your 110 comes on one two three four sprues of grey plastic and one sprue for the one sprue 
and one sprue for the and one sprue for the um, for the canopy. As this is set, you get the uh, paints and paints and glue, decals, and the other things are in there. The Airfix Club membership, the stand, and the air and the funds and scale brochure. As I said, I apologise for not showing you the kit for the 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 actual kit, the actual kit for the. Um, Single Spitfire. I can't believe I did it to be honest. But they're exactly the same tooling. So, yeah. They've put the right one now in now. Right, that's that. I'm sorry I did that. I completely forgot. What I might have to do is actually is um, is delete the video, is delete both, is delete the video that I just previously did of the Spitfire review, and then yeah, I'll delete the video, and then I'll show you the 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 tooling from that kit. I've I've shown it on this in this review, but I'll show it in this kit. In I'll show you. It in this in the up in the next review. So the next review is the is going to be the single. It's going to be the sink. I'm going to I'm going to leave the previous review of it, and the next review is going to be the single version of the split. The single Spitfire. It's going to be the single Spitfire. All right. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys in a minute. All right. Bye.